In this video, I will discuss different types of bone fractures, their causes, and treatments. A fracture occurs when the force applied exceeds the tensile or compressive strength of the bone. Fractures may be caused by falling, trauma, or repetitive use, and different age populations will have differences in bone strength. A fracture can be complete, where the bone is separated into parts, or incomplete, where the bone is still connected. Fractures can also be classified based on the condition of the overlying skin. If the bone is visible, it is an open fracture, and if not, it is a closed fracture. A green stick fracture is an incomplete bone break and is usually found in children because of their soft bones. Other types of fractures include transverse fractures, where the break occurs at 90 degrees to the longitudinal axis of the bone. Comminuted fractures, which are characterized by a shattering of the bone. Oblique fractures occurring at an angle. Impacted fractures, where the broken parts of the bone are jammed together. And spiral fractures that have a circular shape and occur from a twisting force. Compression fractures occur in the spine from a compressive force, in which the vertebral body sustains fractures and decreases in size. Stress fractures occur from overuse and repetitive trauma. Pathologic fractures are due to a pathologic process such as hypercalcemia, osteoporosis, cancer, or tumors. For example, in hypercalcemia, calcium is taken from the bone causing osteopenia or bone loss. Bone fractures can be treated in several ways depending on the severity of the injury. The main types of treatment include Immobilization. This involves keeping the affected bone in a fixed position to allow it to heal. This can be done through the use of a cast, brace, or splint. Surgery. In some cases, surgery may be necessary to realign the bone and stabilize it with pins, screws, plates, or rods. This is usually required for complex fractures, such as those that involve multiple breaks or displace bone fragments. Medications. Pain medications and anti-inflammatory drugs may be prescribed to manage pain and swelling associated with the fracture. Physical therapy. After the initial healing period, physical therapy may be recommended to help regain strength, flexibility, and range of motion in the affected area. Electrical stimulation. In some cases, electrical stimulation may be used to promote bone healing by encouraging the growth of the new bone tissue. Bone healing occurs in several stages over a period of several weeks to months, depending on the severity and location of the fracture. The main steps include Inflammation Immune system cells release cytokines that attract white blood cells to the area to remove damaged tissue and prepare the site for new bone growth. Soft callus formation A fibrous tissue matrix and cartilage form a soft callus. Hard callus formation The soft callus is gradually replaced by a hard callus made up of immature bone tissue. Remodeling over time, the body remodels the newly formed bone tissue to create a stronger, more dense bone structure. This process can continue for several months to years. I hope you have learned about fractures and healing, and see you next time.